What's going on you guys, Frost here and I'm back with another video. In today's video I'll be talking about how to become better at CSing. I'll be giving you guys ways to practice and improve quickly. If you like this video and want me to continue videos like this, then make sure to hit that like button and let me know which other topics you would like to see. First off, I will quickly show for the people who don't know how you get into the practice tool. So this is your home screen, you press play right here. Then you go to the training right here and then there's a practice tool here. You simply press confirm and then you press start game, press yes, and then you get into the champ select. Now here you pick whatever champion you would like to practice with. Uh, I'm gonna be going with Jace as an example for this video, but it can literally be anything, just anything you play, you wanna practice. So you pick Jace. Now, there are two parts to this video, which will come later, but now you can select your runes and masteries. Make sure you have an empty rune page and an empty mastery page for a bit later on in the video. But at the start, you probably want to go with a full rune page and a full mastery page. So select that and you press lock in. Now, this goes then into the game and you come into the practice tool as we see right here. Alright, so after loading into the game, you see this screen before you. Now, there is a couple of things you want to do. First up, you want to press Shift and U together. This will lock your level, so it will remain at level 1. Next up, you press, you can press Ctrl, Shift and 0 to fast forward 30 seconds. Then as soon as you can, like the gate goes down, so the 15 second pass, then you can press Shift combined with S to teleport to the lane. I'm going to be picking mid lane, just because like if you're playing an AD carry, you can pick bot lane as well, but it really does not matter too much which lane you pick. Then, and the final thing, as soon as the fifth minute hit, uh, the, fi the five minutes in game hits, you can press Ctrl, Shift, and the P button together to reset the game, as you can see. So, Shift, S to teleport to the lane. Ctrl, Shift, combined with, these, uh, with the, the O button, will fast forward 30 seconds, so you can do that a few times, and then you can get your minions to be here faster. Press it one more time, and your minions are in lane already. So now you can just start CSing. All those basic things aside, let's get into the steps of how to practice. This will go from easy to very difficult. So depending on how good you are at CSing already, you can pick whatever step you think you can start at. But I do advise just starting at step 1. The first step will be the easiest one. You select the full rune and mastery page you would use on your champion and go into the practice game with that. With the first step, you will do it as you usually do. Go into the game, buy your starting item from the store, and you go into your lane. In this first step, you can farm with all means necessary. You will be doing everything in rounds of 5 minutes. Your CS goal for 5 minutes is 45 CS. This will be the amount of farm you have at the 5 minute mark if you didn't miss a single minion. The bare minimum you want in order to move on to the next step will be 40 CS. After reaching a minimum of 40 farm in the first step, you move on to the second step, which will be doing the same thing, but without buying your items at the start of the game. This will increase the difficulty slightly, so you'll have to be more precise when it comes to landing those final hits. And again, you want to be going for at least 40 CS on the 5 minute mark, but aiming for 45 of course. After completing step 2, you move on to the third step, which will be locking your level to level 1. This will prevent you from gaining any base stats and brings you down to just your runes and masteries. This will be quite hard of a transition since your damage will not go up at all but the minions will become tankier. After completing the third step you are ready to back out of your current session and you want to go into another session. But this time pick the empty rune page and the empty mastery page. The fourth step will be farming to at least 40 CS again but this time without using any runes and masteries plus you are not allowed to use any items. And you will also have to lock your level to level 1 at the start of the game. This is a very hard transition since all you will have at this point is the base stats of your champion. And as a final step, after completing all the other steps, you have to again not use any runes and masteries, lock your level to level 1, don't buy any items and you're not allowed to use any of your abilities as well. This is very difficult to do since not only will you have to make sure that you time your auto attacks correctly, you will also have to make sure you set up the minions in such a way that you can actually get all of them without using any of your skills. And if you feel like this step is getting easy, you can always add in a bot to be your opponent for some extra pressure. Once you're consistently able to get 40 to 45 CS in your 5th step, your CSing will be on point to get into your rank games. And you'll be able to CS at a challenger tier level. I strongly advise you to keep doing the 5th step for about 15 minutes every single day to keep your CSing mechanics solid. 
By doing it for just 15 minutes a day, you'll start to notice that after a while CSing becomes second nature. Plus, you will see how easy it becomes when you actually use runes and masteries and items and are able to get base stats over time in your rank games. Also, if you're like me and you're a jungle main, do not underestimate this and say, oh, but why should I practice this? Because I'm a jungler. It will teach you a lot about wave management, which is very important, but it will also help you out a lot in last hitting minions when holding waves. Plus, if you don't get your jungle roll, you're still able to keep up and farm with your opponent, which is very crucial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do make sure to hit that like button right below, since this will help me out quite a lot. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!